So today I'm going to show you guys how to clean a protein skimmer at a very inexpensive cost. And here's what a protein skimmer really shouldn't look like. As you can see it's really been uh, abused and not taken care of and maintained properly. So could it take care of everything, taking it all apart. You can see the pump needs to get the impeller, it needs to be removed. So everything can be soaked uh, in the distilled white vinegar and RO water. So you lay it down in the bucket and you take yourself a measuring cup and you're going to fill it up uh, exactly one cup of white vinegar. And the reason why we recommend using RO water is just because it's extremely pure and you don't have to worry about any problems. If you can't use RO water, then we recommend you using at least some sort of filtered water. You can get it from your local supermarket. Uh, distilled water is exactly what we recommend um, to use to do this mixture. So now we're going to have it sit in the bucket for 24 hours and this is what it looks like after uh, sitting for exactly one day in that mixture of vinegar and pure RO water. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a cleaning brush and this exact same water and you're going to start cleaning off all the dirt, the scum from the protein skimmer and from whatever else was caked up on it. Make sure you get inside all the plumbing, inside all the crevices and cracks. You don't want to have any of this stuff left over. We've also found that if you take a hose, high pressured hose, you can uh, get that scum out of the inside of that tube real fast. If not, you can take some kind of stick, put some paper towel at the end of it, and shove it inside the inside the deep inside the protein skimmer. So after cleaning all the scum off of it, you want to make sure to uh, rinse it off really well. Anything you might have missed, because you don't want to now put it back in the bucket with any kind of scum on it. So make sure you just rinse off everything really, really well under a faucet. So the next thing you're going to want to do now is place it all back in that bucket. Obviously make sure to rinse out the bucket from all that old stuff that was in there. Clean it out real good. And now you're just going to fill the bucket back up with pure RO water again. But this time with no vinegar mixture. As you can see how clean everything already looks. So what we're doing here is we're just wanting to make sure we get all that vinegar off of uh, off of the protein skimmer and the pump and the impeller because you don't want to put that back in your system. So then you're going to let it sit like this for another 24 hours in this bucket of pure RO water. And after that 24 hours, this is what your protein skimmer should, uh, should look like. Nice and like it was brand new out of the box. And this is the proper way of cleaning your protein skimmer. Um, as you can see, it's not very difficult, and uh, you don't really need a whole lot to be able to do it. And you really should maintain your protein skimmers. They should be cleaned really well uh, every couple months. And the reason why is because they won't work properly. They won't get all that scum and organic compounds out of your water like they should. And here's your finished product. So thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, you can send us a message in our inbox. Thanks again.